Wow. So I have a feeling this is going to get a lot of people really peed off. This story was updated. Uh, what time is it? 12, two hours ago. So it really hasn't hit yet. And with the tech, big tech testifying today, nobody's probably paying attention to it. What am I talking about? Not only um, Amy Coney Barrett, they were also against on their mail that she got sworn in. Look at this article in the New York Post. Amy Coney Barrett given Ruth Bader Ginsburg's former court chambers. I mean, I don't know what the makeup is over there. I don't know if they have like extra other chambers over there. Um, but I'm curious to see how the left reacts. Not only that, she got Ruth Bader Ginsburg's vacant seat due to her untimely death, but not, not untimely, but her death, or whatever. Um, now she's getting her former quarters. Let's just check this out. Newly sworn in Justice Amy Coney Barrett will say ACB will use the Supreme Court chambers formerly occupied by the late Justice Ruth, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, according to reports. News about Barrett's new office, first reported Tuesday by The Hill, came after Chief Justice John Roberts administered the judicial oath to the newest member of the nation's highest bench. A court spokesperson said that along with that office move, the five law clerks who were working for Ginsburg at the time of her passing would be taken on by the three remaining Democratic appointees on the court for the 2020 term. According to Law 360, two of the clerks will go to Justice Stephen Breyer, two will go to Justice Sonia Sotomayor, and one will go to Justice uh, Elena Kagan. A Supreme Court spokesman cannot immediately be reached by the Post for comment on the changes. Barrett was confirmed by, let me see something here. okay, sorry, Barrett was confirmed by a 52-48 vote in the Senate. Um, that 48, that extra, that was Susan Collins, Republican, that voted no, just so you know. In the Senate Monday evening, she was a minister of the constitutional oath by Justice Clarence Thomas in an outdoor ceremony at the White House later that evening. In brief remarks after her swearing in, Barrett pledged to act impartially while serving on the court. It's the job of a judge to resist her policy preference, she said, adding it would be a dereliction of duty to give in to them. This separation of duty is what makes the judiciary distinct among the three branches of government. Here's a picture of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG again, and RBG again. Okay, it was Tuesday ceremony that, uh, that allowed for Barrett to begin her duties as an associate just, justice on the court. The 48-year-old law professor at Notre Dame and former federal appeals court judge will move the high court to a 6-3 conservative majority, really a 5-4. Justice Roberts, he, it seems like he's been acting more as on the liberal side of the court. So I look at it as a 5-4, not a true 6-3, even though it is a 6-3, but we'll see. She replaces Ginsburg, a liberal feminist icon who died in September following years of intermittent cancer treatments. Following her swearing in, Barrett became the fifth female justice in the court's history. And here is Justice Barrett. I see something. Take a good look at her. Yeah, she brings elegance to the court also. I think, um, I really think it's a good choice. It's, you f they forget... That, and I'm wrapping this up now, but what, what's amazing to me is when they say, oh, she said this in an article seven years ago and this, we don't know where life is taking us, okay? I'm pretty sure she didn't know today she would be a Supreme Court justice seven years ago. Not that she, whatever she says, she says. Now, if she was out there protesting with people about abortion and this and that, you know, I can understand where they have it, but she's a she was a law professor. Okay, she does speeches and everything like that, teaching. She's a human being. That's what I'm getting at. Okay, she's a human being. 
we forget that, especially with politicians. You know, like when they say with the president, like delete his tweet or <laughs> anyhow. Um, that's the deal. I just thought this story was interesting because I think if it wasn't for big tech testifying today, we would be hearing a lot more about this. Like, not that it's a giant story, but I'm just saying like this to the left is going to be like, it's so disrespect. It's just insane. Anyway, please do me a favor. As I mentioned in other videos currently right now, for some reason, YouTube it's not pushing my content out. I'm a small YouTuber. I appreciate every 300 plus subscribers I have for now. I truly do appreciate every one of you. But for some reason, I don't know if it's that because algorithm, I'm a conservative and that's what's happening. But I mean, now it's, they weren't pushing out my new stuff, but now it's not even, I don't even see people, even my subscribers watching my older stuff or haven't seen my other stuff. It's just, it seems like in March when I started posting stuff, that's how it looks like no traction at all. It looks like I went right back to the beginning. So what would help is if you could please share this. Of course, a like wouldn't hurt. I would love to hear your comments or read your comments. And um, if by any chance you're not subscribed and you're seeing this, please subscribe. All right. Um, give me a chance to... Um, show you what I got. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Um, you have a great rest of the day. Stay safe and healthy. Peace.